Did you know that you can broadcast your iPhone or iPad screen directly to Facebook? Well, I'm going to show you how in this beginner's beta guide. Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets channel. My name is Rob. If you're new to this channel, my mission here is to help you screen record, or in this case, live stream your iPhone or iPad screen to share it with the world. In this particular video, we're looking specifically at Facebook and how you can live stream your screen, whether you want to play a video game on it or do some tutorials, directly to Facebook. Facebook is fast becoming one of the biggest live streaming platforms, along with Twitch and YouTube and strangely enough Facebook seems to have dropped in their own screen recording functionality into iPhones and iPads very quietly I might add and this is a beta's beginner's guide. Beta because to be honest I can't find any official help documentation on this functionality it just seems to have appeared and it doesn't work very well right now but we'll give you some of the basics and hopefully you can take it a little bit further as Facebook continue to develop this piece of technology let's take a look before you attempt a live stream there's one or two things that you will need to check on your iOS device first of all it must be a minimum of iOS 11 as that gives you access to the screen recording or broadcasting functionality on iPhone and iPad devices and ideally have it up to date to the latest version. In this case, my test is gonna be on iOS 11.2.5. The same thing applies to the Facebook application itself. Have it up to date to the latest version. So this test is on version 159 plus all of those other numbers and you will probably need to make sure you have access to various things on your device such as the camera, microphone, photos, read write access. I'm not sure what you need but if you get any problems make sure that you've allowed all permissions on the Facebook application. Next thing you need to do is enable the screen recording functionality. If you've not done this before to do this in settings go to the control center then customize controls and one of your options here will be screen recording. Make sure that's ticked so that it's in the top list here. What that means is that when you bring down the control center in iOS 11, you should have a screen recording as one of the options available to you. Those are the basic setups. Now let's look at actually broadcasting to Facebook. Okay, so to broadcast your iPhone screen to Facebook, make sure you're logged into Facebook, obviously. Then from anywhere on your iPhone screen, you want to bring down a control center and force touch, 3D touch, whatever it's called these days on the record button and you'll have several options depending on how many screen recording applications you have. It might just be camera roll or Facebook and you can tick each one of these and you might see the options changing. For example, camera roll says start recording but Facebook says start broadcast. Turn on the microphone if you want it to broadcast with some audio from yourself if you're doing some commentary and when you're ready simply start the broadcast. Now what will happen on screen is not that much to indicate that you are broadcasting. You will see in the top left hand corner that the time goes red. If I open another application such as Weather, you can clearly see now that there is a red icon there and that's the only indication that you are broadcasting to Facebook. Now I've tested this several times and sometimes it does work and it broadcasts to Facebook, sometimes it doesn't. So at the moment I have no idea if this is actually working on Facebook because it's not going to send me notification but it might send a notification to your friends. Fortunately in this test the live stream did broadcast to Facebook and this is what we ended up with. The first thing to note is that the live stream actually started after I pressed the broadcast button. I wasn't on the weather application when the live stream started so there was obviously a delay there. Also note the automatic blurred effect that Facebook seems to have added to the size of this screen recording although when I do go full screen it does give me a black background. You will also note that the top and the bottom of the screen have been cropped. We can't see the dock properly here and this is likely because either Facebook or iOS can't properly handle the unique aspect ratio of iPhone 10s and I don't know when or if that will be fixed. This is 
what it looks like in full screen mode on a desktop, so there is a subtle black blur, but it still crops the top and the bottom of the screen. And finally, can you hear anything in this live stream? The answer is no. You saw me clearly set up the audio microphone during the broadcast, but that's not gone through to the Facebook live stream. There are many more problems you may encounter as well. For example, when I tried to do a Facebook broadcast using my iPad in landscape mode, I simply got this null error. I had to restart my device in order to get anything working, and when it did work, it did this. Despite starting the broadcast in landscape mode, the output was in portrait, as you can see here, and even then, it was cropping off the dock and the top of the screen. Not only that, it only broadcast for about 10 seconds before giving up and then doing the rest of the recording as an internal screen recording and saving it to my photo gallery, which was useless, obviously. So, as a final test, we're going to return to my iPhone 10 and try and do a another broadcast to Facebook, this time while playing a game. Again, I have no idea if this is going to work, so it's potluck. But anyway, the broadcast is going to start. No microphone this time, we'll just have internal screen audio, hopefully, with it working. Here's a big problem when we're doing a live broadcast on a mobile device, especially on iPhones. Right now, I don't know if anybody is watching this content. And furthermore, I can't interact with any of my audience. I'm not going to see any of the chat that's appearing from them. So it kind of defeats the object of a live stream. A live stream should be about interacting with your audience personally so that you can talk to them, they can talk to you. And this really doesn't serve a purpose. You might as well do a screen recording and then post it on YouTube or after the fact. I could be talking to a million people, but most likely I'm talking to a very few people. Another problem is that at the moment you can't choose where your broadcast goes to. For example, I might have a Facebook page with all my branding and my YouTube personality or whatever it is, but that's simply not possible to select on the Facebook options. It just goes to your private Facebook page which might be totally disassociated with the YouTube channel that you have or anything else in terms of gaming or whatever it is you want to live broadcast. So that's also a big problem and of course I've not really been paying attention to this game of Clash Royale and we're getting absolutely destroyed. So, as it stands, yes, you can use the Facebook live streaming option from the native Facebook app. How good is it? Well, there's still a lot of technical issues, as you've seen, and like all other live streaming services on mobile devices, it's not fit for purpose because it doesn't actually give you the option to interact with your audience. Isn't it ironic that the final test turns out to be the best one, just when I'm summing up all the bad things about live streaming through Facebook? There's still a lot to be done here and I hope this basic beta tutorial helps you out. I'd love to know your thoughts and experiences if you try and use this option and if there's anything you've discovered which I'm not aware of, let me know in the comments below. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then lightly tap that like button. It was broken recently and I spent quite a bit of money to repair it. And if you want more iOS screen recording content just like this, then subscribe to the Video Gadgets Journal. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.